I hear from people all the time that they want to feel better, that they want to eat well, but it's incredibly hard and I get it. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm here. I'm exhausted, I'm working, I'm a mom of two, so I don't always make the best choices. That's why we need you. Mm -hmm. With some simple tips and tricks and strategies, I'm telling you, you can feel markedly better and you can do this. Let's do it. When it comes to the morning meal, I know that everybody has their favorites. And just with a few simple swaps, you can get the same satisfaction for a whole lot more nutrition. Mm -hmm. So take this for example. Yes, so Jelly. this is toast and jam. I feel like that's everywhere. I know, it's a staple. Everybody loves and it. And this is bad for you because the jam has too much sugar. So for every tablespoon of jam, you could be getting up to three teaspoons of pure sugar. That's a lot wow. of sugar. So one of the easiest things that you can do to still get that sweet feeling is to take a slice of whole grain bread. I have a little bit of peanut butter on this because I think everybody loves peanut yes. butter. You're getting protein from the peanut butter and then using whole fruit. Just by slicing up whole fruit, you're getting that sweet, but it's naturally sweet and you're also getting antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. And look, it's much more filling yeah. too because you're getting fiber with it. Yeah, I also think that it's it's real. Like jam can be processed, right? Right, and how long does it take you to put that together? Not long. Seconds, seconds. For kids, you could even make a face. Yes. All right, we know that we should not be eating donuts. Yeah, and they're delicious. Everybody loves all the pastries and the muffins and the donuts, especially in the morning. It's a lot of refined carb and yeah. a ton of sugar and it's gonna zap your energy. So let's get a little bit creative. Okay. And we're gonna make apple donuts. Apple donuts, <laughs> not quite as sugary, but no, still delicious. Th there's no sugar in this. It, all, the, all the sweetness is coming naturally. So all I've done is I've taken an apple, yeah. you core it down the center, okay. and then you turn it sideways, you slice it into your circles, and then top it with whatever you want. You could put nut butter on. Mm -hmm. um, if you have nut allergies in your house, you can use sunflower butter. Yeah. There's also so almond this butter, has, cashew butter. So this has, what does this butter, have on it? Yogurt. Yogurt. So this is yogurt, and here I've topped it with a dash of ground cinnamon or nutmeg, and then, you know, again with the blueberries, it gives it a pop of color. Mm -hmm. It could be strawberries. You could do pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, chopped nuts, even granola. I have, look, this is coconut. It's good. These are really good, right? It's really good. I think kids would like it too. It's cute. And it's a fun activity to do with mm -hmm. your kids as well. So with a little creativity and know-how, you can actually recreate a lot of your favorites and feel a whole lot better. So Joy, you know, I have busy mornings. I never eat breakfast. And I've always heard from my mom since I was a little girl, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Am I doing it all wrong? So this actually might surprise you. I do not go by that breakfast being the most important meal of the day, and here's why. Some people are just not morning eaters. So if you wake up in the morning and you're not hungry, I would say don't force yourself to eat. Wait, what? No. That's you, blowing everything I've ever learned. I'm gonna ask you something. Are you not eating because you're not hungry, or are you not eating because you're too rushed and you don't have time to grab something? It really depends on the day. Sometimes I'm not hungry, sometimes I'm in a rush, sometimes it's a combination of both. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling completely fine, you're energized, and you're just not hungry, you have full permission to skip breakfast and then to eat later on in the morning or at lunch when you feel the hunger kick in. But on the other hand, if you're not eating something only because you're scrambling and you don't have time, I'm gonna show you a few super quick things so that you could fuel yourself with the right stuff and you could feel good about it versus yeah. grabbing the donut. Do not grab the donut. Do not grab the donut. <laughs> and by the way, every meal is the most important meal of the day because really, whenever you do eat, you wanna go out of your way to pick the right foods in the right combinations so that you boost your energy and your health. So I love a biscuit, but this is a healthy biscuit, right? This, not only is this a healthy biscuit, but you can whip it together in no time at all, and you can make it ahead of time, and then have a big stash in your freezer, so you pop it in the microwave, 60 to 90 seconds on a busy morning, and you are good to go, and it is totally delicious. Awesome, okay, so ready? how do we make this? This is cauliflower? Yes. So a lot of people are looking to cut back on carbs, so this is the ultimate low carb, quiche biscuit. I'm calling it a quiche biscuit because you'll see it has that kind of moist, delicious consistency. And we're gonna also be putting in bacon, 
cheddar and chives. Okay, you had me so the bacon. Good. So we're starting with our cauliflower rice. Mm -hmm. You can buy cauliflower already riced in the store, yeah. but if you don't have it, it it's really not... Um, Hard to make? Not at all. You have your head of cauliflower, mm -hmm. you're going to chop it up into florets, and in small batches, you will pulse it in a food processor. Or if you're really handy with your knife, <sighs> you could just chop it up as well. Okay, so we're, this is the rice. You're going to add in almond flour. Okay. This is pulverized blanched almonds. Right. Now, this is going to be our baking powder. Got it. Next, we have a little bit of salt. Okay, so all the dry ingredients. Yep. That is reduced fat shredded sharp cheddar cheese. I like to use reduced fat 2%, not non-fat, no. but 2% because okay. it melts beautifully and it will give you that same feel, but it reduces some of the saturated fat, which has been linked to increasing cholesterol levels. So right. it's good to go reduce fat when you can. Egg whites, egg whites. two egg whites, that's it. And that butter. is butter. So that's two tablespoons of melted butter, but if you don't want to use butter, you could certainly use any of the soft tub butter alternatives. That's fine as well. Now for our bacon. And this is turkey bacon. Yes, that is cooked crumbled turkey bacon chives because everything tastes better with chives exactly. and you're just going to mix that up. Okay. So then how do we get them in the baking tray? So we're going to form a batter. Again, this is another really fun thing to do with kids. And what I like to do is I double and I triple the batch yeah. so that I can make a whole large amount of them and then I stash them in the freezer. It's so also have them for many mornings. starting your morning with a lot of vegetable. You know, it's yeah. mainly cauliflower. It is. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna first do very quickly is I'm gonna mist our baking sheet. Okay, you wanna get yeah. in here? Get in with your hands and you're just gonna make uh, little balls. Okay. And then you're gonna put your ball right in. And it sticks together. Go. What it's makes sticking. it stick, the eggs? Yep. Also, you know, there's still a little bit of water in the cauliflower. And then you, you just pop it in the oven and you bake them off. And they are absolutely delicious. Okay. Um, well, absolutely. I want to try one. Here we go. Yeah, me too. Let's see if the cauliflower biscuit is as good as the real thing. I'm going to grab one too. It's good, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Super moist. It's sort of like if a biscuit and a quiche had a baby. Here it is. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is what you would get. I like it. If you need something in a pinch, here is a smoothie that you can whip together in no time. It's delicious and it has a nice amount of protein. Smoothies are my go-to breakfast meal and actually my kids and my husband too. Oh, perfect. Know, You're so going to love you. this one. So I'm starting with berries. And by the way, you can use fresh or you can use frozen berries. And berries are one of those produce items that it is well worth your energy and effort to mm -hmm. spend a little bit more on organic. Okay. And I love berries also. You can see from the pop of color, they're loaded with antioxidants called anthocyanins cyanins, which increase brain power. Okay. Good and to know. Banana. banana. You just so, do half of one? A half of one in this. The riper, the better, because it's going to add natural sweetness, and it's also going to help to cream and thicken up your smoothie. Yeah. This is yogurt. What? Is this so just plain? We're using plain, non-fat Greek okay. yogurt. It could be a low-fat or a full-fat if you want. I'm using plain because why use a sweetened yogurt when you yeah. have all that great fruit in there? Yeah, you don't need it. And the reason I'm using Greek yogurt is because that small amount you just added in is going to add about 18 grams of protein. Wow. Filling protein. That's awesome. So you awesome. feel like this is a good way to get protein in the morning, Greek yogurt. Absolutely. And here, now we're going to add some milk. This okay. is going to be your liquid. It could be cow's milk. I would prefer a low-fat cow's milk so you don't have a lot of saturated fat. Right. Or you could certainly take advantage of all of the milk alternatives. There's soy milk. So we're just going to add about free. half of this, right? I would and say we'll about see. three quarters of a cup. You need okay. a little bit more. There okay. you go. That's good. You could add the ice cubes. But I like almond milk. I like light coconut milk. Whatever milk you want, you could go for. Now, what about these seeds? Love them. So okay. this is where you can get a little bit fancy. These are flax seeds. Mm -hmm. Now, even though the flax seeds are whole here, I'm going to tell you, you're going to want to grind your flax seeds first because if you grind your flax seeds, your body's going to be able to absorb all the goodness oh, in so them. Like so even these are the bigger. flax, you don't want them big like this. No, you want ground flax seeds. These are chia seeds. Chia seeds, on the other hand, you can so leave little. them whole. And okay. you can just put a sprinkling in. Okay. And here's something really cool to know. If you make your smoothie and you have some chia seeds mm -hmm. in there, and you don't finish it, you could put the leftover in a bowl, put it in the fridge, and a couple of hours later, it's gonna turn into a pudding. Because chia seed pudding. Chia seeds have a gelling capability. So yeah. it's gonna gel the liquid and it's gonna firm it up, and then you're gonna have a smoothie pudding. Oh my gosh. But let's make a smoothie. Two in now. one, I like it. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see. 
Okay, let's see. So pour it in here. It is a beautiful color. It matches your shirt. Yeah, And beautiful. so why are chia seeds so good for us? So chia seeds have a lot of plant-based omega-3 fats, and omega-3s help to tame inflammation, mm -hmm. and they're also good for brain cells. And, and it has fiber as well, and fiber helps to fill you up mm -hmm. so that you have staying power in the morning. Well, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. You don't need added sugar in this. Mm -mm. It's, it's really sweet from the banana, from mm -hmm. the berries, and I it's like got it. a lot of protein. Delicious. When it comes to an energizing morning meal, there are three things to remember. First, incorporate health-promoting produce. That means either vegetables or fruit, and here's why. It gives you a chance, first thing in the morning, to shower your body with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Next, eat at least 10 grams of satiating protein. Protein helps to keep you feeling full and will also give you a continuous stream of energy during your AM hours. And last but not least, get in at least four grams of filling fiber. Filling says it right there. It's gonna help to keep you feeling satiated and full during your morning routine and it also helps to level out your blood sugar levels so you stay nice and even keeled. So meals that have this winning formula built right in, a Greek yogurt and a banana, a protein berry smoothie, or you could whip up an omelet with lots of vegetables inside. And that's your winning formula to start your day on the right foot.